What is going on lads, it's Billy the Kid here, and today I'm here to give you another episode of Battlefield 3 Weapon Overview, the series in which I give a little bit of background information to the real life weapons of Battlefield 3. Now my previous episode, which was about the SVD Dragunov, many of you requested that I do the SV-98 Bolt Action Sniper Rifle, and so today's episode will be about that weapon. But a quick mention is that a subscriber by the name of 99kevi, uh, offered to give me his account on BF3 PC because he doesn't play it anymore and that he mentioned that he has all the weapons unlocked. So whatever weapon you wish, put it down in the comment section below for me to do the next episode of Battlefield 3 Weapon Overview. Uh, special thanks go out to 99kevi, thank you very much sir. So let's get on with today's episode which is about the SV-98 sniper rifle. So you have to understand, in the mid 1990s the Russian Federation uh, just came out of the collapse of the Soviet Union and was doing very very badly in terms of economics they were uh, running out of money everywhere and the only um, the only good sign of the economy was weapon sales so if you remember or if you actually look up on YouTube you'll see a lot of new weapons being designed in the mid 1990s to try and you know pump up the economy and make arms sales the number one uh, export for the Russian Federation I mean they were selling guns, tanks, trucks, attack helicopters, jets to any country that wanted to buy them and they were actually kind of doing deals, you know, buy two, you get the third free, it's that sort of thing, but the Russians didn't forget about their own armed forces so in the mid-1990s the Russian uh, sniper units realized that the SVD Dragunov, which has been in service since 1963, it's a great sniper rifle but it's not um, a you know, long-range, high-accuracy sniper rifle that many other countries had at the time and still do. So they made a request in the mid 1990s hey we need a new bolt action high accuracy sniper rifle that we can use to hit long long range targets maybe a thousand meters because the SVD doesn't have that after maybe five six hundred meters the accuracy in the SVD just goes all over the place even if you have a very high optic sight like a ten times scope on it. So a man by the name of Vladimir Stronsky took up the challenge for Izmash. Izmash is a Russian uh, weapons manufacturer. I think they make the AK-74 at this particular weapons manufacturer plant. He took up the challenge to design a new bolt action high accuracy sniper rifle for the Russian military. Now he took a look at the SVD Dragunov and took a look at how that was designed and if you remember in my previous episode the man who designed that, I can't remember his name, um, Dragunov, I can't remember his first name, Yevgeny Dragunov, I think it was. Uh, he took his design for the SVD Dragunov from sporting rifles. He designed a lot of sporting, you know, a lot Olympic sporting rifles. So, Vladimir Stronsky did the exact same thing. He had a look at Russia's Olympic uh, sporting rifles at the time, and he saw one, and he actually based uh, the SV-98 on that Olympic sporting rifle. And... The SV-98 first went into service in 1998, so that's why it's called SV-98. SV stands for Sniperskaya Vintovka, model of 1998. So it went into service in 1998, and it's been in service ever since. Albeit, it's not in the same numbers as the SVD Dragunov. The Dragunov will probably stay in service for maybe another 10 years before we see a lot more SV-98s replace it. But it is in service with a lot of... Uh, Russian Special Forces units like Spetsnaz, um, the S FSB, Oman, and the uh, GRU. Uh, there was a lot of uh, Russian Special Forces and intelligence agencies like counterterrorism, that sort of thing. But there is uh, a couple of interesting features about the SV-98. Uh, something you'll see in BF3 and Bad Company 2 as, as well as real life. It's got this really uh, nice green uh, plastic polymer finish. Uh, the hand guards are all polymer, it's got an adjustable cheek rest, it's got an adjustable buttstock, it's got a nice uh, Picteni rail that you can put any sort of optics you want, although the standard for the SV-98 in the Russian military is the PKS-07 7 time magnification scope. That was a mouthful. And that's the one you get in BF-3 when you unlock this weapon. Now here's an interesting thing that wasn't in Bad Company too is that you can, with all the sniper rifles, you can go iron sights. And I have to t tell you, when I uh, played with this for the very first time in the BF3 beta, I actually took the scope off and I went iron sight only. 
and I got a large amount of kills on uh, Operation Metro, I think it was Rush, on the beta with just the iron sights. And I actually did the exact same thing when I unlocked the weapon when I first played BF3. And I did equally well. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that might be a good thing for you to do when you first unlock this weapon. You might want to take the iron sights off, maybe rank up the weapon, maybe get a 4 times scope, either ACOG or the Russian 4 times scope, I think it's the PKS-4. And um, just go to town on it. I mean, this sniper rifle is a very, very good sniper rifle. It's a high accuracy weapon, so don't be expecting to go around you know, no scoping people. It's not that kind of a weapon. If you play hardcore, you can do that, I suppose. But if you want to be very accurate, you might want to unlock the bipod. Um, you don't get that uh, standard with the weapon. You have to unlock the bipod. You might want to put a suppressor on it to hide your location. But the SV-98 is a very good sniper rifle, but you need to know where and how to use it. Now, the gameplay you're looking is uh, Gulf of Oman, and I, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to play sniper. I'm not going to capture the flags, I'm not going to PTFO, which is very unusual for me. I'm just going to hold up in this crane, and I'm just going to take out as many guys as I can. Because up until then, I wasn't doing very well with the sniper rifle, just running around and trying to pick off guys. I, I just kept on getting outshot by everybody. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to hold up in my little nest here and I'm just going to take out one, two, three, four, five, as many guys as I can. So the SV-98 is a very interesting sniper rifle. It's got a rich history. It's got a nice action. And I highly recommend you go and try it out, lads. Anyway, lads, this is Billy the Kid. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the SV-98. As always, leave your comments in the comment section below. Leave a rating if you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like. Subscribe for more. And don't forget to leave your recommendation for the next episode of Battlefield 3 Weapon Overview. Anyway lads, this is Billy the Kid, once again thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again. Let the games begin.